Hello everybody, Ketchy1383 with Ketchy Gaming covering day 15, the final day for the Epic Store free game event. There are two games today, the first one being Xmas Seize the Frontline and Dishonored Definitive Edition. So I started out with Xmas today and after going through some tutorials where I'm like, well the AI is just really dumb and they have this thing that a one of my pet peeves, actually multiple pet peeves in this case, that being they just sort of stand there. It sort of looked like they were trying to take cover, but no, they, they were just sort of automatically stepping off to the side occasionally. It wasn't because they were taking cover, because they were getting shot at. And then they started shooting at me through the wall. But the other thing is being super accurate. And then the third thing that makes me mad when it comes to AI, is that they all magically know where you are, regardless of losing line of sight of you. They just know where you are. That's Lazy Game Design 101 on three accounts. So then I went and played an actual game versus AI, because I didn't want to subject random people to my lousy PvP skills. And I put the AI on the easiest, and it was just stomping me into the ground. My AI, even when I told them to move positions, because I could command the squad, they wouldn't move. They just sat there and did nothing. So I had to go out there and try and fight things on my own. And again, because they're super accurate and I always know where I am, they just stomped me into the ground. I mean, this game is bad because of its AI alone. Don't get me wrong, it looks pretty, but that's about the only praise I can give it. Its sound design is garbage. The guns are really quiet. You can't even tell what direction you're getting shot from until you actually get hit. You get a slight indicator of what direction, but there's no sound from the guns whatsoever. I'm getting shot and I can't tell what direction via the sound, only the general direction from the hit indicator. I mean, it's just not present. This game is bad. They should be embarrassed by how bad their AI is and how aware it is of the player's location and that they can't even get AI to work properly for the player. I would never pay money for this game. It is this terrible. And honestly, even if it is free, I wouldn't suggest it. I mean, they started popping out vehicles, and I couldn't even get into the vehicles no matter what I tried. And I looked. Just wouldn't work. Like, this game is terrible. And you may not be able to get into vehicles. Because it looks like it's supposed to be kind of like a MOBA game. But, honest, no. Even if it is free on Epic, I wouldn't suggest it. I mean, you can try it if you want to see what I'm talking about. Maybe you can figure out something I didn't. And I went through the tutorials. It took me several hours to get through them. Or at least over an hour, sorry. Not several hours, but no. This game is bad. And they should feel embarrassed for what they put out. Thinking that this was a competent product. With your AI being so terrible. So moving on to Dishonored Definitive Edition. The Definitive Edition has DLC that was released for the game afterwards. So Dishonored is a stealth action game. Or an action stealth game, whatever. It's, it's basically a stealth game. And you play as Corvo, who was the bodyguard to the Empress who was murdered in front of you and you were framed for it. You then go on a mission to rescue Emily, the Empress's daughter, and Corvo's daughter as well. Now the choices you make in this game do affect what happens uh, during the game and at the end. It was back when morality choices were in vogue, or what the developers thought were moral choices. Some of these in this game are probably far worse fates than actually just outright murdering them, but whatever. So, 
what happens is if you kill a ton of people, you'll get more what they call weepers, which are people that are infected by a plague, which is also affecting the city at the same time. And on top of that, you'll get more rats, which have a tendency to kind of kill people and go after you as well. The fewer people you kill, the fewer weepers, the fewer rats. Now this game, it is going to be on the older side. It came out during the 360 era. But it's still a pretty good looking game. For its time at least. And it still kind of holds up today as well. It has some excellent sound design with a lot of ambient noise that you can hear when you play the game. And the stealth mechanics are pretty competently done, too. I did mess up a couple of times because I was trying to play on a keyboard, and I would recommend using a controller for this game. I usually play on keyboard when I play first-person shooters because I want the precision, but you really don't need the precision in this one, mainly if you are going stealth. I mean, if even if you do decide to go all nuts and attack and kill everybody, it's still going to be easier with a controller. So I would recommend a controller. So if I were you, I would pick this game up. The other one I would avoid, but you can always get it for free if you want to try it. So I'm going to thank Epic for giving out free games, especially a ton of them, and some really good ones. If you made it this far into the video, thank you for watching and have a good one.